quick shout out to all my patrons. Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey y'all, it's Kate from The Literary Apothecary. And today we're going to do a book review for The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter by Theodore Goss. This is book one in the Extraordinary Adventures of the Athena series. Um, I absolutely love this book so freaking much. I gave it five out of five stars. It was just so much fun. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be the like what didn't work for me, but it's going to be the kind of what I loved and, you know, maybe some warnings because this book was written differently than a lot of other books that some of these things might not work for others. So this book, like I said, is book one, is based off of some of literature's horror and science fiction classics, the must-reads of horror and science fiction literature. This is the story of a remarkable group of women who come together to solve the mystery of a series of gruesome murders and the bigger mystery of their own origins. And like I said, I absolutely love this book. I gave it five out of five stars. It was a very quick read. It was a fun read. It was so much fun. I loved, what did I love? I loved the characters. All of these characters, the major and the minor characters were just so well written. They just came to life on the page. I did an immersion read with this where I listened to the audiobook while I read along in the physical copy and holy cow, that absolutely did it for me. The characters just came to life in a way that I have never had, I wouldn't have imagined in this book. Um, we had, what else did I love? I love just the story, the idea of it. So they, Theodore Goss took, like I said, the horror and science fiction classics. We're talking Frankenstein, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, M Moreau, um, all of these absolute classics. They took them and the male figures in those books and they made women out of them essentially. They're either created as a love interest or a daughter um, and just that idea is absolutely fascinating to me because we have all of these legendary characters but they're all male. So what would happen if they were all female? Um, and we also get uh, Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. Holy cow, they're absolutely phenomenal. I love them. Just everything about it, the way that the story just unravels and we're learning things along with the characters, which is one of my favorite tropes. I love learning with the characters. You just kind of go with it. You don't ask questions. Although if you do, it's not one of those books that you just should not ask questions you can ask questions but just have fun with it kind of it takes itself seriously but at the same time it doesn't it's just a lot of fun now on for my um, kind of trigger warnings per se so the biggest thing is that you get these interjections of the characters in the prose in the writing where it's like you are sitting there while the um, narrator is writing this story um, and the characters are commenting on what she's writing, how she's writing it about themselves. For me, I absolutely loved that, but I know for a lot of people, that's a big no-no. That's a distractor. That's not fun for them. So if that's one of you, if you're one of those people, then, you know, think long and hard about why you don't like that and whether this book will work for you. I recommend reading a chapter. Or two. So, you know, if those are trigger warnings for you, then I take a long moment to think about this book before you start it or do a take, taste test of it and see if it'll work for you before you go full on in for the whole book. Um, but I absolutely love this book so much. I, like I said, I gave it five out of five stars and I can't wait to continue this series and see how this story develops. So 
that's my review of The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter by Theodore Agassiz. Five out of five stars. I absolutely loved it. Another rave review. And, um, and that's it for now. If you've read this book, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Where did you fall on the characters coming into the story bit? Interjecting in the story. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of that. Keep reading and I love you all to the moon and back. Bye.